So when you're making one of these videos, it's generally speaking quite easy, but there's just a few tricks and hints that'll help you break up some of the footage and make it look a bit more interesting, rather than just having my head here doing all the talking. You can film what are called cutaways, which are little extra shots that you can blend in. And it's very easy to do now with drag and drop video editing software, which comes free with most Apple Mac computers, and you can get it for most Microsoft operating systems as well. One of the easiest things to do is to film a little cutaway of the person using their hands while they talk so that you can then just overlay that over the speech at any point when they're talking. And it's easy enough to run through the footage and sync it up with points where they have actually used their hands really while they were talking. The other option is to use drag and drop still image uh, photos uh, to break up some of the footage to cover up uh, edit points where you're taking out uh, points where people have uh, gone uh, a lot which again is quite simple to do. Uh, most of the programs will have an automatic track and pan uh, effect, which is called the Ken Burns effect, uh, for those of you who know who Ken Burns is, which helps to make the shots a little bit more visually interesting, which is all you're trying to do really, because visual interest is what keeps people watching and what's, that's what keeps people listening, because if it's just my head here doing all the talking, my flapping mouth up and down, that's not gonna keep people interested. Also, keep your videos to around about five minutes at the absolute most. Shorter and punchier, the better.